Oh yeah, welcome again guys. This is Minecrafting Dad and welcome to episode 7 of our Minecraft FTB Regrowth Mod Pack series. This mod this mod pack is available on the FTB launcher. Information on how to download the pack is available in the video description below. Pack code is Regrowth and uh, we are continuing on here. So let's take a tour of the base. I could show you some of the stuff that we've done since the last episode. So I've done a little bit of work with the crops. I've added two more uh, crops in down here. Two more places to put crops in down here. And let's see, we the tree farm was doing well. And I did a little bit of exploring, just cleaned up th some stuff in general. But for the most part, I saved all the good parts for you guys. So if you are liking this series, please remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget that these episodes are actually recorded live on Twitch, and you can come stop by and watch me as I record the next set of episodes. Where you want to go is twitch.tv minecraftingdad. Alright, so let's take a look at the next quest that we have in the book here. So this is part of the What the World Came to Be. That's the next quest is it's called it's, it's essential so you think you may have found a way to produce some better materials a task where the player needs specific items these do not have to be handed in having them in one inventory is enough so we actually need to make some essence seed so let's take a look in any eye and let's see if this explains to us how to make an essence seed I'm having a feeling we're probably gonna see what we need okay great so in this case, if we take a regular seed, which is a wheat seed, and we throw it into the mana infuser, it's going to give us some essence seeds. So I did. I happen to have some on me, but uh, it's it's easy to get the seeds. All you do is, you know, click it, break it, and you know, then you can take it. You may you want to make sure you're not using, for example, you want to make sure you're not using the really high valued. Um, See how these say 212 and 123? If you have like one that says like 10, 10, 10, you probably don't want to use that to throw into the mana pool. You want to use ones like these guys that say 111 or 222, especially the ones that say 111. The higher in value they are, the faster they grow, and the less likely you are going to want to, you know, basically just, you know, throw this is like kind of like throwing them in the trash even though it's not you're you're going to get something back so to upgrade or to switch this to an essence seed we just hit the Q button and there we go so let's do that with the rest of these even though we already satisfied our quest let's just grab an extra few all right so there we go we've now got six essence seeds and we should be able at this point to collect on that quest as well which says 100 percent and now we are able to get rewards which is another ender pearl and uh oh it's actually making us do a second part of this quest so it wants us to create some essence dust so it says you think you may have found a better way to produce some materials a task where your player needs to do this so in order to get essence dust this is actually relatively simple so in order to make this work we're actually going to have to plant these crops so we'll do that let's make these like they're going to grow so we'll put them in we'll, we'll just basically create these crops just as if we were going to you know making it so that they're automatically going to grow so let's do that real quick and then we'll automatically try to help these guys out just a little bit so you'll see how we do that in one second. So let's put these in place. There we go. And now if we actually take the bone meal, in order for a crop to mutate, you actually have to have these at full strength. So you'll see that just like that, we have them. There we go. And now the, the possibility of these breeding into those new spaces is possible. So I'm not sure if this produces um, taint, tainted essence, 
but I, we do have a chest over there just in case. And I know it's traditionally when you break a magical crop, it produces something called Tainted Essence. But I guess we could check and see. I'm not sure if that's actually turned on in the mod pack. I'd imagine it is, but I don't see it, so that's a good thing. All right, so we don't. I don't see any Tainted Essence, but we can grab one, two, three four five six and let's see how many of those did we actually need to turn in for our quest I only needed to have two and that record uh, gives us some more essence seed which is a good thing wow that was really loud let's turn down the music just a tad because that was loud all right so let's plant these as well and this is going to help this to grow we certainly are going to need the magical essence or the magic crops in order to proceed further along into this game so we better you know get a head start on making these now as opposed to you know later on All right, so let's plant that there and this over here so there we go now we've got a pretty much a fully functioning magical crop farm <clears throat> and that, like I said this will do its work on its own all we need to do is add these guys here in the middle and they'll automatically crossbreed and do their part automatically we don't have to do a single thing except for plant them and come back later and collect the rewards alright so we have all these other seeds we could probably just put those in this chest over here for now eventually later on we should be able to find a way to better sort all these different things alright so let's look at our quest book and see did we open up a new quest here. So we have another one called Natural Nuances. It requires us to make nature seeds. This states, a number of useful plants are providing, are proving troublesome to obtain. You wonder if you could employ essence to create these, but a synthetic means of doing so evades you. Maybe you manage it by breeding crops. So let's take a look at nature seed. It says a task where a player needs a specific item. So again, this is going to give us all kinds of really cool stuff. Lily pads, brown mushroom seeds, and red mushroom spores. Kind of cool. So let's look at that. Again, this is called a nature seed. So let's go in here. Nature seed. Nature seed is grown by using a magical essence seed and a sugarcane seed. So that's actually not that hard to do. So let's go over and grab one of the essence crops from the inside. Mm. And let's go over here to our sugar canes. And I believe we actually have a spot already made for it. Nice. Okay, so this is sugar cane and there is the magical essence. So if we do that correctly we can come back in a little bit what we should see is that we now have a natural seed we only need one of them and that'll reward us with some really cool stuff so while we're waiting for all that to happen <clears throat> let's see if there's any other quests that we can complete at the same time so I think what we're going to do is back out from this one. Let's go into the next one here, which is called What the World is Made Of. So we go in here. This one, well, this is actually a brand new quest. What is this one about? Infusion Ha. So this wants us to make a mana pearl. You can combine some essence with a mana infused ender pearl and rule the world. Ahem. I mean, you can make a stone which lets you condense the magic of essence into a more potent form. Oh, that's interesting. So we want us to make a mana pearl uh, by... Uh, I guess we'll have to check NEI to see how do we make a mana pearl. So mana pearl is done by throwing an ender pearl inside of the mana tank. So we do have two ender pearls. So let's go over here and chuck one of them in. And we could see that we do have enough power by the little check mark chuck it in and we now have a mana pearl so let's turn that right turn that in and it wants us to pick either a skeleton soul seed or weak essence hmm I know we can make weak essence 
let's look at how to make weak essence. Before we turn this quest in, let's see how easy is it to make weak essence. And I think we'll find that with the weak infusion stone, which let's take a look at how that works. The weak infusion stone is simply essence dust with a mana pearl. We can take a weak infusion stone and we can make weak essence. How hard would it for us to be to make the skeleton seeds? I'm having a thought that this is probably going to be a little bit more difficult to make these. We probably should grab those. It's pretty clear cut. So in this case, let's grab these skeleton soul seeds. Was that different than what we just looked at? Skeleton soul. No, that's right. Okay. So let's grab the skeleton soul seeds as our reward. There's actually another task. It wants us to make the weak infusion stone, which we just saw. So we did look up the recipe for that, which means we need more of that. I do have bone meal over here. So let's grab some more bone meal and make our way over here. We do also have six essence dust, so I think we might even have all that we need. Let's take a look again. Weak essence stone is eight. All right, so we do need a few more. So let's just go like that. And there's one. There's two. So there's eight. And we do have the mana pearl as well. So this should be very straightforward. Mana pearl. Eight essence dust. We now have a weak infusion stone. And let's check our book. There we go. Reward is skeleton soul. Oh, no. It wants us to make some weak essence. Of course it does. Because, you know, that only makes sense. So there's one, there's two, I think we need four. So let, there we go. One, two, three, four. Let's take those back over to here. Weak infusion stone, and I don't know why I didn't grab that last one. I probably left it sitting there. Do do do. I hate when I do that. <laughs> Especially when you go ultra long distances and you leave it sitting somewhere. All right, so we got a weak essence. And let's, leave, let's take our weak infusion stone and not leave it there. Now, we should be able to do this. No more surprises. Alright, so skeleton seed, claim reward. The cool thing about the skeleton seed uh, is it will allow us to basically make uh, bones through crops. Let's grab some sticks and we'll place this down in its own little area. We should already have some of these. If not, we can make some more. We've done this plenty of times. So there we go. We now have some more of that. And let's get this planted over here. This is where we're going to put our skeleton seed. Now hopefully this doesn't produce mobs as well, because that would be kind of funny, but yet not at the same time. <laughs> so let's see what this actually produces. Uh, does this not work on the... No, bone meal works on the skeleton seeds. Interesting. Okay, it's not yet analyzed. Okay, 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 I get it. Let's put it in the analyzer. I forget that you got to make sure that you analyze certain types of seeds in order to understand them better. So this should tell us it's a 1-1-1 one, one, one skeleton soul seed, which is pretty straightforward, but for some reason it wanted us to analyze it before we stuck it in the ground. Alright, now it should be able to grow. The plant is fertile and should and grow. Okay, well let's maybe, maybe we need to take a look at what can this skeleton soul seed, what can that give us? Skeleton Soul Seed. Let's look at the recipes. So I'm going to right click on this. Or left click. Okay, but if I right click on it, let's see. There should be, it should give us something. I was thinking maybe you combine this Essence Seed with the Skeleton Seed and it would give you a whole new one. But perhaps not. Okay. So, let's take a look and see if our other crops are done here. So now we have... This one hasn't grown yet. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Because 
we want this to make a poppy seed. So that's what the plan is between a pumpkin and a sugar cane. If I'm not mistaken, we're still looking for that as part of our first quest, which is this uh, nature seed. No, no, no. What was that part of? Is it part of the nature seed? Hmm. Nature seed is sugar cane in essence, right? So that's this guy. So sugar cane in essence. This one right here should grow the other seed. That's what we're waiting on that. And let's see. What else do we have as far as tasks goes? The way the world works. Let's take a look at that. This is for making a runic altar. So let's see. What do we need to make a runic altar? So a runic altar is the next stage in the Botania series. So let's take a look and look at the recipe for the runic altar. And altar. Am I spelling it wrong? Altar. Okay. So it's living rock and a mana pearl. So it should have some living rock. I believe we have some inside of the house. And let's see. There we go. There's some living rock. And we need to make another mana pearl. So we do that over here by simply dropping that in. And we now have a mana pearl. Let's take it to the closest table. Put that in. And here we go. Let's make the runic altar. So the runic altar, let's see what the quest says. Open. So the runic altar opens up some other quests, but can we get a reward? We'll reward us with 32 floral fertilizer and some more mana pearls. Where are we going to put this? We actually need to keep this relatively close to the mana spreader because we need to actually point the mana spreader at the runic altar when it comes time to making things. So we'll put this relatively close by. We'll just put it right there. And we will be ready to go. So keep in mind guys, I am recording these live on these these episodes live on twitch.tv forward slash minecrafting dad, even though you can see them here on YouTube. It'd be great if you stop over and say hello to us on Twitch. We do not bite, unless you want us to. But uh, we do like the company and the communicate, you know, be able to talk to you guys in chat and everything. So if you do stop by my channel at any time, be sure to say hello and be sure to let me know that you stopped in from the YouTube series. So, let's see, what is our next task? We can make clay for days. Let's take a look at that. Clay is quickly becoming an annoying scarce resource. I haven't had a need for it, but let's see. Maybe there's some reason why it wants us to produce clay. Clay is becoming an annoying resource. Maybe if you put some clay in a pile with a flower and pray, some deity might consider your prayers. So it wants us to come up with 12 clay and some mystical light gray flowers. Hmm, let's step back to that one in a little bit. What about this guy here? Written in stone. This wants us to make and create a whole bunch of different runes. I think what we'll do is we'll come back to that one as well. Let's see, what else do we have here? We have a new one under the what's called the What the World Teaches. What do we have in here? Ooh, this one's pretty cool. Looks like some book quests. Let me grab some food. Nom 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 nom. Alright, so... Let's check on our crops. I don't see anything growing there yet. This is still pumpkin seeds. We need to get that out of there. Alright, so... Let's look at our quest line. So we got the book binding piece. We can start doing this thing called Cartography Basics. This is going to require an empty map. This is going to require a drafting compass and an oak frame. Let's take a look at the recipe for these items. An empty map should be pretty straightforward. And of course, it's not something we have found thus far. So let's see, what is the empty map? This is the generic uh, Minecraft version. And this looks like a custom recipe. So you can either have some ink sacks from the squid, or you can use the black dye. What does it say? Black dye 
from for our floral black dye. Okay, so we know how to do that. So let's come over here, and we have black flowers, and we have the mystical petals. And if you combine that with this guy, with the pestle and mortal, mortar, you can then make floral black powder. So let's do that. Let's put this back up here for convenience. And I believe I do have some paper. What, is it, what does it, else does it need? It needs eight paper. I don't think I have eights. I have three, but I do have some sure kings growing out here. So let's grab these. So every three sugar canes should give us three paper. So let's throw this in here. There's three more. And did I literally walk by three? There we go. Sugar canes. Jeez. All right. So there we go. We've got six, and we've got three more inside of the house. So we're good to go. So let's grab this and the three that are in here. Combine this with the black floral powder, and we now have an empty map. So let's keep that that way. That's the first item in our quest book here. We need to make a drafting compass. Let's take a look at the recipe for that. Drafting compass is flint tool rod, the flint, and some sticks. I believe we have some flint here. I do have a stencil table. We can make the flint pattern. Let's throw that in the pattern chest. And then we can come over here and grab it. We take some flint. There we go. We now are able to make flint tool rods. Nice. Cool. Okay, so we got that. Put that back. And then it just needed regular sticks, right? There's some sticks in here. So let's look at that. what that was again, because don't remember flint rod, flint, some sticks. Don't shouldn't these actually be on the bottom? I mean, if you're gonna technically make this, who knows? All right, so drafting compass. We now have that. So we have that. We have the paper. The last item on the list it wants us to make is the oak map frame. So let's take a look at the recipe in NEI for that. So the oak map frame. Apparently you can make it also make it out of dark oak. Oak map frame is a half slab and some sticks. And I have six sticks, but we need some more. So let's see if I have any more wood out here. I do. There we go. Now we've got some supplies. Let's turn these into sticks. Fortunately, we have a tree farm. and We no longer have to worry about wood. There we go. There's the sticks. And if I'm not mistaken, it was a half slab, which I think I have right here. Hopefully this works. There we go. So we now have a jungle map frame. I hope that's good enough. It doesn't seem to care. It says oak, but it, it does accept a jungle map frame, which is awesome. So now we've got four empty maps and a book. Claim the reward. So I'm assuming this is going to allow us to have a map, which would be really cool. That was weird. It did it twice. So I'm not sure if we completed two quests or, or what. All right, let's go back in here. Let's look at the what this one. The world at your fingertips. The scope of making a map. The scope of a map for recording your uh, surveying of the world doesn't cut it. You think you might be able to collate multiple maps in a single tomb, the atlas, by carrying around a drafting compass in it too. You should be able to mark. Uh, locations of interest on the fly, a task where the player has to craft specific items. So let's look at what does it take to make an atlas. Hopefully we have the supplies to make this. And now we should be able to map out our location also, which is awesome. So to make this we need a slotted book. I'm not sure how to make that. We do have a drafting compass, but how do we make a slotted book? A book in a dark oak label. Dark oak label is just that, so that's fine. We do have book. We just now to make a label. Okay, that was actually relatively simple. So there's the book. There's the slotted whatever, and we need to have six pieces of paper and an empty map. We have one piece of paper and we have five maps. Because uh, this, I was gonna say, can that give us more? 
Apparently not. I don't know if we have any more paper here, but we do have bone meal, so we can go make the sugar cane grow. And we can go check on the crops while we're at it as well. So we don't see any growth there, but let's make this grow. Does that not work? Ah, oh, it doesn't work. We do have this. So that gives us three more. And we need, I don't know, how many do we need part of this? We need six. So that's, uh, let's, let's just sacrifice these other sugar canes here. We can always fill them back in later. So now we have six. Let's do that. Okay, now we don't have to wait, and we should be able to craft this guy. So there's the air set, the drafting piece, this one, and what was the other thing, because I don't remember, an empty map. So there we go, we now have the atlas. Okay, so, and now that I guess is going to draw a map around this, I don't know how this works, but we'll find that out in a second. Claim a reward, there we go. No fireworks. Okay. All right. So that gives us that. Now let's see. How does this thing work? Oh, okay. So we can. I guess we can give it more maps. Is that how it works? I'm not quite sure. Does it need to be like you put the maps up here? What? We'll, we'll have to tinker with this a little bit to kind of figure out how it works. Auto center. Auto create. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Auto create and auto center. Why not? Right. And it did say something about if I kept the... By carrying around a drafting compass in it, too, you should be able to mark locations of interest on the fly. So that's not in there. Oh, so check that out. It's actually creating... It's creating a map of our location. It's kind of weird. So it's creating a map of our location... It's kind of interesting, I guess, but I, I kind of, I still like my journey map, I gotta say. But it's kind of cool that it automatically creates it for you. So, hey, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let me take a look here and see. So we've made some good progress, and I don't see the seed we need here. Do have some bone meal. Let's make this grow back to the size we want. Now we should see some growth. Poppy seed. Cool. Okay, so that's good. And let's see. So now, what is our next plan? Well, you will have to wait until the next episode. So make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And you can also watch my live streams at twitch.tv minecraftingdad. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And I hope to see you either on the next episode or live on twitch.tv. Thank you guys. And we will see you next time.